Okay, so I'm here. I put the uh, herbs in the small packets into the two pots. I added the, uh, the green from the carrots, which is what's on top. I put in some garlic and the rest of the herbs that's in here. So I'm kind of stirring it up now. I'm not sure what to do here, but I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper. I learned from a chef at uh, an event at um, the Alliance uh, Stadium there, Comerica Park, whatever it's called. Anyway, um, you add the salt last. You let the, uh, the veggies bind together and the salt should be the last thing that you add. So I got this stuff mixed up in here. So anyway, this is gonna be like the sacrifice, the stuff in the bottom. So from there, the steamer goes in. And then these other vegetables are going within the steamer. So it goes in here. And so I'll be doing another video in just a second. I still got a little bit of drink left. I wish I had more, but maybe it all works out because I might be too intoxicated. All right, okay, my strategy is I plan to put the rest of the uh, veggies into the steamer. I want to go with the veggies that's like it's gonna take the most heat. So I'm gonna go with onions first and to the bottom there. Then I'm gonna go with carrots. Then I'm gonna go with kale. And then from there, I'm gonna go with um, broccoli, then tomatoes. Then I'm gonna go with the peas. And um, I'm gonna go with some of these softer vegetables to be on top. This is kind of hardy, so, ooh, this is kind of rough here. Might put that somewhere near the kale. This here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this bottom part here. So I got a lot of room, so I'm gonna go with definitely this green stuff here. So I'm sure that has something to do with whatever. And I'm not gonna use the bottom part here, the white part, I'm gonna get the green part out. I'm sure that's where the core fill is, which is very important, help to digest and whatnot. Uh, as you know, cilantro helps to get rid of heavy metals in the body. Dandelion uh, greens has something to do with um, preventing cancer. So it's all good stuff from nature. This here is a cruciferous vegetable, the uh, broccoli and the kale, which helps to get pollution out of the body. Peppers, they have a good um, attribute to good health with vitamin C. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep this moving, the peas, I don't know, we have to look it up or something, but it's all good, it's nature. So you can't go wrong. All right, number one cooked. I'm using these prongs to put it in this uh, blender, this little taller one, I think it's like 72 ounces. I believe I can get all this in here. So um, up under the strainer is the uh, herbs and the pot liquor. I'm not sure if I started this video too soon. The time now is about 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And I still have work to do. So the intent is to blend this up. So what I'm doing is making adult baby food. Something that doesn't require that much chewing to make sure that I don't get indigestion from not chewing my food properly. So as you can see, there's a lot of vegetables in here. So it looks like it turned out pretty well. Close enough for that. So at the bottom here is the herbs. I guess some people call it pot liquor. So a lot of nutrition is in the juice. So what I'm gonna do is throw the strainer on top here. And um, I'm going to pour this in. It's still hot, so I'm going to use a cloth here. And I hope I can get some leverage to be able to do this without making a mess or burning myself. But uh, the herbs that's in there is a sacrifice. It just 
using the juice from this to be able to um, have enough liquids to be able to blend this up. So I end up putting some turmeric and some ginger here, a couple of chunks of that. So now pretty much this is going in the trash. I know it seems like a waste, but I think we got all the nutrition out of it that's within the juice. I think I got a little bit more in here. Okay, well I can't do that and hold the camera. So enough of that. And pretty much that's it. I'll blend this up. And uh, from there, I will put it into those uh, small mason jars. And from there, I'll freeze it. And then I'll have my adult baby food. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we got this thing blended. I'm gonna open this up to take a peek at it. Hopefully I can get this open. There we go, it's open. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna put this back on and let this uh, spout or whatever it's called help us pour it. Pop this baby up. So I did the math, like 72 ounces in here. I divided, um, these are 12 ounces each. So um, 12 and 272 came out to be six. So math is math, so it should work. We only need six of these containers. So from there, I'm just gonna pour it in there. It's kind of like soupy like. So there you have it. My adult baby food. Or maybe I should, shouldn't call it baby food. But I was saying uh, once a man, twice a child. So at my age, I guess I'm at the second portion of all that's true. So I'm in my child portion. So life is good. Having a ball. How we doing here? Is this right? Is the, is the math good? Well, close enough. All right, well, that's enough for the video.